What's going on YouTube is Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video and it's time, it's time for me to replace my Samsung, the loved Samsung Galaxy Note 9. I'm a big Samsung Galaxy Note series fan. I love the S Pen and everything I use it for. Can, the list goes on uh, with what I use this pen for. Uh, but it's time to replace it. I've got the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G that's just landed on my desk and I'm looking forward to setting this up and actually using it day to day in the real world and see what it's all about. If you guys haven't seen my hands on yet, make sure you go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description and up there somewhere. I don't know how YouTube works these days. Uh, but we're gonna unbox it. So people that are gonna get this in the UK will see what they get in the box and what it's all about. I've also got the official case as well. This is a silico silicone case uh, cover for it. It's a silky soft touch finish case, whatever that means. I mean, I live life on the edge and I tend to not use cases anyway, but I'll put this on for you guys let you see what it looks like and make sure you follow me on instagram at gadgets boy because on my stories i'll be posting all kind of different content from the smartphone as well and i'm also i'm gonna have to upgrade my my contract to 5g one so i can actually enjoy the 5g experience as well and compare the speeds and all that kind of stuff anyway without further chat let's open this up and see what you guys will get inside the box if you've pre-ordered one or you're looking to pick up one in the near future so here we are we have that sort of brand in there with a pen on the front so you can see the S Pen to be exact uh, on the side Samsung Galaxy Note 10 plus 5G uh, and that's it very subtle box I'll put this to the side for a sec we'll come to, we'll come to it and uh, let's open that up and see what it looks like so this is the Aura Black Edition so we've got the SIM injector tool straight away there to take your SIM card tray out and insert your new uh, uh, SIM card into the into that spot uh, you got transferring content all that information warranty card all the boring stuff all in there for you let's put that to the side and in here it's the smartphone itself so you can see the large display and the aura black as you can see that I actually quite like this color although that other one that shimmers the one in the first impression video you guys should go check that out that looks really good as well but I'm not mad at all the current one I have on the Galaxy Note 9 is actually a subtle color as well so it's nothing too flamboyant so as you can see there I'm not too mad at all Thank you, Samsung. Uh, put that to the side and see what else is underneath here. Got just got a card. Got a three pin plug for the UK folks. So you can see there, pull that out and you're good to go. So this is a fast supercharge, super fast charging, charging block. Take note, Apple. Uh, we want this in the box when we get the next iPhone, please. Um, but that's what you get. It's a USB-C one as well. So again, they're moving on up. This is how we should be. Um, what else is here? got the transfer tool so if you plug in your USB full USB in there to the next phone you'll be able to use this to transfer your content directly uh, using that using the cable that will come in the box as regular um, see what else is here we've got the USB-C cable so again like I said USB-C to USB-C cable right there for charging and data transfer and there's an adapter here as well that comes with it I'm not sure why you'd need this actually I see so that's a micro USB port on that side as you guys can see there and going onto a USB type C. So again, depending on what cable you have, this will be very useful. So don't lose that. Uh, here we have the AKG headphones. So Samsung owns Harman, who also owns AKG. So we've had this collaboration for a while now. So you get this nice headphones here, uh, in here, headphones with fabric coating. But this is a USB-C one, which is really good. It means you don't need that extra adapter to carry around with you, which I'm actually really happy about with this one. So this is the smartphone itself. As you can see, all the buttons are on the left side of the device now so you've got the volume rocker power button there on the side as you can see so you don't have to worry about where are the buttons there's no bixby button is now all embedded all in one inside the power button so you'll be able to press uh, once or press and hold or something like that to activate uh, bixby now on the front you got your front facing camera right there so that hole punch right at the top there so it's not like the galaxy s10 uh, and the s10 plus which has theirs on the corner uh, as you can see uh, on the back there you've got the camera set up there so you've got the vertical camera alignment so you've got three cameras there and the time of flight are uh, next to it with flash and so on and on the back here on the bottom uh, sorry let me just peel this off actually oh that sounds so good uh, on here we've got the USB-C port your S Pen goes in there and a the microphone and a speaker grill so if you just pop that out you'll be able to see the pen pop out as you can see so it's the same color as the phone itself and I was playing with the settings and I know that now you can pair a new pen easily now as well, which is pretty interesting. I'm going to try and pair my old uh, S Pen and see if that works, if that's even possible at all. So you've got 
aluminum frame, glass curved back and glass front as well, obviously. Um, so yeah, and on the top, you have your microphone as well and, and uh, where your SIM card would go. So SIM card tray goes in there. Um, and your, in fact, let's take that out quickly using the SIM ejector tool. Careful when you're taking it out, it's quite sharp. Show you guys what I'm doing here. Ah, come on, there we go. Let's take this out. There, so you can expand it using a micro SD card as well. So this is a 256 gig version that I've got here. So I can expand this using a much bigger memory card and insert it in there and I've got a bigger storage ready to go. For camera, you have a quad camera setup. So you have a 12 megapixel wide angle lens, 12 megapixel zoom lens, a 16 megapixel ultra wide, and that time of flight lens as well. And on the front, you have a 10 megapixel uh, front facing camera as well. And it's got 3D depth sensing as well, which is pretty cool for a single sort of lens that's there. It's quite a wizardry thing, the way they've done it. So this has got that in-screen ultrasonic fingerprint sensor as well. You've got facial recognition, uh, which is cool. Uh, we've seen that before in the Galaxy S10. And elsewhere, you have that 502 PPI super dynamic AMOLED display with new One UI, and this is 1440 by 3040 uh, in terms of pixels that you get with this. For battery, there's a 4,300 milliamp power battery in there with 45 watt super fast charge. Uh, compatible as well and wireless charging 2.0 so you'll be able to charge your device back up very quickly. For memory you've got 12 gig of RAM and up to 256 gig of internal storage which is expansive, expandable Samsung said by up to 512 gigabytes but I reckon you might be able to put might be able to put a bigger one in there. They said that by the S10 and I was a bit I was able to put a bigger memory card in. Before we go let's have a look at the case as well let's pop the case on and see what that fits like. You've got a little manual in there I see if you need a manual to fit a case on a smartphone, that's quite interesting. And this is a silicone case, so it's nice and soft on the back. It's got that nice soft texture. And on the inside, it's got a different color and some sort of protective layer so it doesn't scratch your smartphone when you're using it. So to use it, it's nice and easy. Top first, put it in, push it in like that, and here you go. So that's what it looks like on the phone. Red is my favorite color, so I might actually keep this on. It doesn't add too much bulk onto it, so it looks really nice and smart, as you can see there, so again, Maybe I'll keep it, maybe I won't, I don't know, I don't know yet, but it looks really nice. It's got all the cutouts that you need, power button, the buttons feels nice and clicky, so again, it's not taken away from that experience. When you're using your Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G, it doesn't take away from that experience at all. Um, well, that's it for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G unboxing. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below, as per usual. If you have any questions or anything in particular you'd like me to do with this, uh, let me know as well. But in the meantime, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification button as well. It really helps me out a lot. So you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video on this channel. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.